Hi everyone, welcome back to our Facebook Live. My name is Ale Gonzalez and I'm the Digital Navigator with Bridging Apps, a program of Easter Seals Greater Houston. School is starting back up soon, as quickly as next week for some of us, and I know how important it is to start getting the kiddos adjusted to a school routine again. Thankfully, there are apps that can help with that, and our focus today is two different apps that will helpfully calm down the back-to-school chaos. Now, I do have to say that both apps do cost money to be able to use, but they are definitely worth it in my opinion. They also both offer a free trial, so you can try them out and decide if it's something that works for your family. Let me go ahead and share my screen so you guys can see the two apps that we will be talking about today. So the two apps that we'll be sharing today are the Parental Control app, Our Pact, and the second one is going to be Brilli Routines. Our Pact is that white icon with the blue and orange leaf icon. And it offers a one week trial. And afterwards, you have to, the option to do a monthly subscription for either the premium account at $6.99 per month or the premium plus account at $9.99 per month. The only difference besides the price is that the premium plus account automates screenshots of your child's device so you never have to worry about what they're doing on it. Our Pact is a family locator and parental control app that allows you to set schedules and limit screen time by blocking internet and app access. It's a great tool to use during the school year when it's important to focus on schoolwork and activities with the, without the distraction of your child's phone or social media. So that when you go ahead and open the app, it looks like this. You do have to pair your child's device. So it's actually two apps that you would be downloading. So the parent app, like I said, that one is called Parental Control App, Our Pact. And then the app that you would download on your child's device to be able to pair it would be Our Pact Junior. And once you go ahead and pair up the device, you can start setting up a schedule. So at what time is bedtime? What time is homework time? If they do sports, then how many hours are they going to be practicing either during the week or on weekends for that particular sport? And that's kind of going to be your home, your home page. When they open up their uh, responding app, they'll be able to see that schedule there. You can then also set up app rules. So for all of the apps that they have on their device, you can either block them by using that by tapping on that icon that looks like a circle with a line uh, straight across. And then that means that your child will not have access to that particular app on their phone. So if they try to open it, they're going to be completely blocked off to it. You can also put a uh, screen limit on that particular app and you get to decide how long you want them to be using that app for per day. So like maybe 30 minutes or an hour. And then if you want them to have unlimited access to this app, so like, for example, maybe Spotify because music helps them focus, then you can just go ahead and click on that check mark. And at any point, if let's say they run out of screen time and they want to open up an app, it will actually notify you on the app whether you want to block their access or allow it. Same thing with this allowance. So this is kind of goes with that screen time. Um, you set up an allowance for social media. Um, for right here, we have it set for two hours for a weekly total of 14 hours, but you can always go ahead and adjust that. And then lastly, you can go ahead and put these um, these restrictions that can block certain websites, that can block whether they're deleting an app. So for maybe, let's say, some a kid who doesn't want to be, um, doesn't want this supervision on their device and they try to delete their corresponding app, Our Pack Junior, you can actually go ahead and turn on this feature that prevents them from removing any apps. Like I said, this is a great tool to use during the school year just to kind of get them started with that school routine during the summer they do have a lot of screen time and we want to try and minimize that as they go back into the classroom and start becoming more active in school activities the second app that i'm going to be showing is going to be brilli schedules 
and really schedules gives children the ability to be held accountable for their morning and evening routines without feeling like you or their parents or grandparents are, are always nagging them. All you have to do is set up a routine and with really uh, with Brilli's dynamic timers, the visual prompts, and the motivating rewards that you are able to set with your child, your child can learn to stay on task. This is a great tool for children with ADHD or autism because it provides structure that they can be a part of. It has a one month free trial so you, that you can start using it and decide if it's something that you like. And afterwards, you have three different subscription options. Um, you can choose to buy it a monthly subscription for $7.99, buy a half, uh, buy yearly subscription for $34.99, or just go ahead and buy that yearly subscri subscription for $49.99. And how it's going to look when they open up their app, they're going to have their routine already there for them. So a routine that you guys sit down and create together. So especially in the mornings, um, holding them accountable for waking up on time, brushing their teeth, getting dressed, eating breakfast. So those are all things that a timer will pop up on their device and it'll tell them how long they have to complete this activity. Oftentimes with timers like that, children start to kind of treat it as a game. It's competitive and it really gets them motivated to complete these tasks, these everyday tasks that otherwise wouldn't be as fun. Again, you do have multiple different options for subscriptions and it is it would be a great app to use, especially during the school year so that they can kind of start getting used to not sleeping in as much and waking up at 6, 7 a.m. and getting everything ready to go to school. If you guys have any questions on any of these apps or you've tried them out, you love them, you didn't like particular things about it, please share down in the comments below. We would love to hear your experience with them. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day.